Oh, hi, Joe. Take a seat. Now, you were wondering in class why well, you just made a word to me on the quiet about your brother. You worried about your brother. He's off at uh, this high powered university and he comes back and all kind of questions and doubts about the existence of God and the worth of religion. And uh, you said he's not playing around drinking to go wine, women, and so on. No, he's a serious fellow, does a lot of thinking, and he's coming up with these problems of faith, and you were worried about him, wondering about him. Well, one thing you got to understand is this, and you'll be facing the same thing too. The university education, or education in general, is secular. Uh, that's for majority of Catholics are educated in secular places. So is everybody educated them. Now the assumption there is the only thing that really is scientific or hard-headed or truthful would be the sciences. Just, you know, then if it's proven scientifically, then people would accept it. Matters of religion, opinion, sentiment. Matters of morals, eh, lifestyle. All the moral and religious things are considered as opinions. Now, so therefore, in a secular institution, they don't have to attack religion. They don't have to attack morals directly. They just have to say, look, let's be reasonable. Let's be objective. You got to talk to pagans, non-believers, people of all kinds of persuasions. You got to be scientific. I right, be scientific, objective. And if you want to be religious, you want to be moral, fine. Just keep it to yourself. Be polite. Don't be disturbing people with a certain arrogance like they got to believe what well, you got to believe. Well, if religion and morals is not a matter of reason, but just feeling, well, they have a good argument, don't they? I mean, that's why I've been pounding with you guys. Listen, you believe, belief is intellectual, it's about realities. Now let's learn how to think about it as realities. Physics isn't the only science. Biology isn't the only science. Philosophy is a science showing how you prove things by reason alone. See, if you don't get that idea that religion and faith has to do with truth, you're in there, it's going to be feeling. And if it's feeling, they're going to clean you out in the university. And you'll supposedly go just by reason, which is not a very good thing for either your faith or your morals. But, yeah, that's, I think that's what's happening to your brother. Uh, say a prayer for him. But at least when you head for the university, start learning how to think your faith. And don't let people talk you into thinking it's just a feeling or an opinion or the way you were born. Well, okay, Joe, uh, I'll say a prayer for you, brother. And I'll see you next week. And let's see, uh, you've got to get that wing of reason going, flapping hard and strong. Okay, take it easy now.